Hi everyone. We hope this finds you all safe, well, and healthy as this crisis continues. We hope that you enjoyed our last video on some of the emotional needs of children during this crisis, but we thought it might be a good idea to provide you with some practical things you can do to sort of start that conversation and help your children out through this. One of the best things to remember is that kids communicate through art. They will show you in drawings or in the things that they write what they feel sometimes better than what they can tell you. And you can actually facilitate this in your own home with items you probably already have. One of the easiest things to do is to find a blank wall in your house. Somewhere people pass every day, um, something that has a good amount of space for you to use and then get yourself an old sheet. Something you're not using anymore, something you don't care about and attach that sheet to the wall. You can use painter's tape, you can use Velcro sticks, anything that's gonna hold onto the wall, but not necessarily damage it when you wanna take it down. Then just put a bunch of markers available next to it. Use washable ones so that you don't have to worry. And it's a place for kids to write or to draw what they might be feeling at that moment. In the beginning, you might have to model it, make it a family activity because you are asking them to draw on the wall, irresistible, but they're not quite sure yet. So show them. It's a great way for the family to begin those conversations. And then check in every now and then. Look at the things that they're drawing. Ask them to talk about it. Ask them to share some of the things that they may have drawn or done. You do the same. You draw on the wall. You write on it. It's a great way for them to feel like they are not alone. If you don't have an old sheet or you don't have access to something like that, you can always attach pieces of construction paper or white paper to the wall. It achieves the same thing. Or put them on the refrigerator. Use a magnet, attach pieces of paper to the refrigerator. Somewhere kids can feel free to express themselves that's uniquely their own. Sometimes they might not wanna talk. Sometimes we're all too busy in this crisis to talk. So just somewhere for them to express themselves is invaluable. If that's not something that you can do, you can actually modify it. Strips of construction paper work great. Have a table in your house, have a bunch of construction paper, put crayons, put markers available. Some are for kids to draw the things they're missing or write how they're feeling that day. You can even direct them to it when you notice that they're having a bad day. And then link it. Take an ordinary stapler and every time they write something down or they use one of the pieces of paper, link it in a chain. All the things that we as a family miss during this crisis, everything that we felt, and you can continue the chain up along the wall. It's something that the kids can see, and it's something that they can have readily available and use, and before you link it on the chain, something you can talk about. So it also promotes that openness, those conversations, that understanding a little bit easier than just asking them how they're feeling that day, which is probably gonna get you fine. If you do it too, it creates a certain amount of solidarity. And it can also change the conversation. All the things that we miss, that you miss, that your children miss, are also the things you're grateful for. How much better to have a conversation about the things that you're grateful for instead of just the things you miss. It'll flip the conversation. It will change the emotional climate of your house. Yes, we miss all those things, but look how important they are to us and why. And it puts them in a much better mindset than just how much they've lost. We hope that this is helpful and that it gives you a starting place to have these conversations in these uncertain times. Not knowing how long this may go on, at least this will give you something you can continue to do for the foreseeable future. And please know that we are here for you and we will do our very best to support all the families in crisis during this time. Take care and be well.
On behalf of myself and the staff of Emma's Place, please know that we are thinking of all of you and we are hoping that we can all be together soon.